Hi, and welcome back to Dave Dev TV. In this short video series, we're going to do a little deep dive into each of the videos in the Mitten series. So for each video that I did, there's some more stuff that you should probably know. So I'm going to talk about all that good stuff and really uh, solidify your knowledge on each of these different topics. So the first topic I want to talk about is this initial video where I kind of plan out what we're going to build and then I make initial skeleton of a website and then get that running. What you're looking at here is the finished product. So if you haven't gone through the entire video series, you might want to go through it first just so you get a, a nice overview of everything we're going to accomplish. But after you're done with that, come back and then do the deep dives. So in this first deep dive, I'm going to take a look at our initial video where we design our app because What's important about this is that the way I designed it is kind of unique to me. Well, not just me in particular, but everyone kind of has their different style of designing what they're going to build. So for example, some people might design the database structure first and work off of that and kind of plan out how all the data plays with each other before they build their app. With me in this video, I was designing the front end first. So it's kind of a top-down approach, I like to call it, where it's you're designing the top-level like idea of the app before you get into the nitty-gritty database and how the data is structured. And in general, I think that's the better way to do it. But uh, everyone has their own style, so do what works best for you. So I started out by drawing out the front end of the app before I even thought about the back end. I mean, it could have been a crazy different back end like Rails or with like SQL database or something. It wouldn't have mattered. Like it is inconsequential that it was mean stack when I was developing this design for the app. So I think that's uh, an important point to make because when you're working with someone, you want to talk about what the app should do and the business goals of what they're trying to accomplish. Don't talk about what stack you're going to use per se. So keep that in mind. And then another thing about this site is that um, all I did was a simple, uh, I added bootstrap and then I added some styling. Um, I added, it didn't look quite like this when I did the video, but I've added some stuff since then. But just to do some more styling, let me show you what a lot of websites do nowadays. Um, so what a lot of websites do is they have a title overlaying on an image. So that's kind of a a cool looking thing. So let, let's do that actually. So let's start by um, getting some pictures of mit, of, uh, of kittens. Is mittens, so we're gonna get some kittens. Let's, let's get some uh, images. Um, okay, let's start with this one. View image. Okay, we got a kitten here. Let's save this. C drive, SRC, mittens public now let's make a uh, folder let's call it IMG I like to make an images folder and then let's go in there let's call it uh, kitten jpeg so once we've got that saved now we can use it in our website so let's do this where is this mittens title uh, home. Where's this title coming from? Okay, here it is, right here. H1 class equals page title. Let's try this. Where's our page title CSS? So here's all the CSS that's affecting our page title. Now, we can go crazy with this. So let's see how far we can go and what we can do. So one thing we can do is do background image background image and then have a URL and then point that to I think IMG slash what's it called kitten.jpg okay you save that and then refresh Oops. okay we have the kitten background present. Um, it's going to be a little hard to style this because it's an H1 which has its own 
issues. So let's let's surround it with a div actually. Let's say this div class equals title title box. And let's surround this. No. Nope. It's been a while since I've used Windows again. So what happens when I go for a few days without it? Okay. So we have a title box. Now let's do this. Let's make a title box. Class. Let's move the background image. It's a little cleaner to do styling on a div just because it's a nice kind of a blank canvas of sorts. So let's bring this back up. Okay. So the div right now is expanding to the entire page. So let's make it taller. Let's say height 100 px. Let's see how that looks. And refresh. Okay. Now, starting to look like a cool page title. Let's go 200 actually. And let's do a margin on the left and right. Margin left, uh, say 100 px. And margin right, 100 px. Save that. And let's try that. Okay. Now it's starting to look like a cool little title for the page. So next step that we got to do is center this H1 inside the title. Um, so here's what you can do. Instead of doing margin left, let's start from scratch here with this title. And let's say, um, I think auto is actually the uh, correct terminology here. Margin right. Auto. Let's try this. We might have to look this up. No. Margin left. Two uh, percent. No. No, that's not what I want. Okay. So here's another time when I need to check what other people are doing because I don't have this memorized. So let's see, um, center h1 within div. Could be anything really, not an h1. Um, so the div margin auto, that's what it was. I knew it was something with margins and auto. Let's try this works. Um, yeah, what else do I have to do? Position absolute. Vertical line middle. Uh, okay, let's try position absolute, and then this margin is auto still. And then it says to do vertical line middle. Let's save that. Nope, that was not right. How do we do this? Okay, this has to do line height equal to the height of the box. So if the box is 200, let's say line height 200. And where's the line? It's not there. Let's try this. Okay, now it's vertically aligned. Center, let's try this. Okay, we are centered, centered. So the way I did that was on the box surrounding the title, I set uh, vertical align center, text align center. That's all that's relevant here. And then on the H1 itself, I did margin auto, vertical align middle, and then line height equal to the height of the box. So there's many way could, ways you could do this, but uh, that's one way, <laughs> as with anything in CSS. Right now it's blue. Let's make it a different font. Let's try um, fonts, font family. Um, let's try, uh, let's try, oh uh, yeah, Arial. 
and let's make it bigger to font size. Um, let's try 40. Oops. Refresh. Okay. Uh, let's make it uh, color uh, blue. Uh, let's make it black. Actually, off black. I like off black. It's a nicer looking color. Hashtag 333. Oh no, it's an it's a link. So um, actually, we have to do dot page title and then a to point to that link and then say color three three three. Let's put this in here and then refresh that. Okay, now we have a black title and then last thing I want to do is make it so I can actually see the cu the cute little kitten here. So there's something we do in in CSS where we do background size and then cover and this will kind of zoom it out so we can see it the bulk of it uh, actually not really we're going to cut this down a little bit but uh, usually that should work you know, actually know what I can do background position oh, is there a way I can offset the background let's see CSS offset background image background position mm, let me try that background position center and then refresh that okay there we go um, and this is kind of hard to see now so one quick fix we can do is t -t -t page title let's do this background color um, I could just say something like uh, something like three three three, like which is almost black. Um, but um, I don't want to do that because it'll, it's opaque; it'll clear out everything behind it, such as the picture. So what we can do is R G B A, and then three 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 is um, I don't know; it's probably around seventy five, seventy five, seventy five, and then there's a a fourth thing called alpha, which you could do 0 0.3, which is the transparency. It's from 0 to 1. And let's try that. Uh, let's try 0 0.5. Make it a little darker. And now we can make mittens white, actually. So let's do this. Color um, FFF. That's white. Refresh. OK, there we go. We have a cool snazzy looking mittens app now so now let's in the next video we're going to play with bootstrap a little more because we were talking about bootstrap in that video stay tuned